Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm about to head out and go to grocery shopping. So let's go. Guys, just pulled up to the giant. Uh, let's go buy some stuff. December 19th, kosher. Looks good. Let's keep going. Uh. What about this December 27, 2024. Looks good. Uh, real par right there. Like that. Honey Raja. Spires on April 25th, 24. Awesome. Just keep going. giant really successful run i uh, just have a few more things that i've got at trader joe's so let's cut to that awesome a little chocolate we get one bag our trader joe's looks good and the main thing that we came here for, the kosher Angus beef. Awesome. Well, let me get two of these. Awesome. Looks good. Hey guys, Another successful so, but quick run. Finally done the grocery of, shopping. Uh, so post time to go right home now. Let's go. And uh, after seeing the footage, I feel like it made more sense for me to kind of talk over it, let you guys kind of see what I was doing while I broke down the process. So 
In this uh, first video, uh, I have the brownie batter finished. And the brownies were actually the thing that I chose to work on first uh, because of they took the longest, so I wanted to get them out of the way first. And because my family keep kosher, and uh, the night that we ate dinner, uh, we were having kind of a late dinner. Uh, after you eat meat, uh, you have to wait like a few hours to eat dairy again. So what we kind of ch decided to do was we were going to have the brownies before dinner. So because of that, uh, I decided to do them first and cook them off first. So, so this is what they looked like. Really cool and glistening going into the oven. So part two, uh, I began my appetizer. So I kind of did like steak frites as my app. So, uh, the first part of it, obviously, was I needed to, uh, wash my russet potato. So, uh, I've actually had experience with this. Uh, my family during Passover all the time, we have a lot of potatoes because we can't have rice. So, you'll see me in the kitchen sometimes during March and April washing up a potato. I'm a big baked potato fan as well. So, normally, uh, you've got to get a good wash on those if you want to eat the skin. And, uh... Along with uh, washing the potato, uh, we had some uh, seasoning and uh, we decided that we were going to uh, base it in olive oil, salt, and some uh, kosher salt and pepper and kind of uh, toss them in them. And uh, so here's the cutting process. And uh, while cutting the potato, uh, I cut it in half long, half wide so that you could kind of get a balanced potato so it was easier to keep on the cutting board. And then uh, my main goal was to keep them uniform and a decent uh, thickness so then you can clearly tell that they're more of a steak fry than they are a shoestring normal fry that you could do with a pr uh, presser. And uh, as you see, my mom in the background is there to make sure that I went into midterms with all 10 fingers. Uh good thing that was a success and uh, it was uh after the a very uh, methodical and like slow process of like preparing the brownie batter and making sure that all the measurements were precise it was kind of relaxing to be able to cut up a potato uh because it's a lot more chill and it was definitely my uh, favorite part of the uh meal experience and uh the cooking of the potato was a little frustrating. They take a long time, but the prep was really easy. And uh, I could definitely see myself going in the kitchen more and helping my mom out while uh, making these uh, similar type of fries during Passover this year. And this is what they looked like, coated, uh, cut up. And then the brownie we also took out of the oven. So like I said, we started with the brownie, so everyone got one of those. And then part three, the actual entree. So I did hamburgers as my meal. So I uh, seasoned the uh, ground beef with a bunch of pepper and salt and then started uh, putting it both pounds together, uh, just feeling it out, getting all that seasoning mixed around. And then after that, I divided uh, the two pounds into eight four ounce patties. I didn't have a, a scale or anything, but I eyeballed it. But uh, I did my best to distribute all the meat evenly. And then uh, my because we were actually uh, searing it off instead of putting it in the oven, I did my best to keep them relatively thin. Not a full smash burger, but pretty close so that you could uh, sear off the edges in uh, like th four to five minutes on the stove. And then they'll stay about medium to medium rare in the middle. And uh, the good thing, uh, it was a success, and they pretty much stayed about that. And uh, I've made meatballs, but this was actually my first time uh, making a burger from fully scratch. I didn't make the bun, but uh, pretty much everything else was me. And I was really proud of how it turned out. Uh, I feel like I did pretty good at keeping them uniform. And then here is me turning off my phone with my nose. That was also pretty impressive. So here's the eight burgers laid out and then uh, the fries coming out of the oven. And then here's a video of me grilling off the burgers. And there's enough for all room for all of them? Should be.
you can walk over and get a little shot of that end of the room. So this is what the first batch turned out like, and this is what everyone's quick looked like. Okay. So Sam, uh, going into tonight, what were you thinking about me making dinner for everyone? I thought it was a very interesting experience to all of us. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, so what did you think about the food? I, I personally really enjoyed it. Everything was great. I really liked the fries. They, they were just great. Uh, what did you think about the brownie? The brownie? Good, good way to start dinner. <laughs> And then, uh, what was your favorite thing about, like, spending the time together as a family eating dinner? It was just, like, a fun experience, and it's gonna be weird not seeing you next year, so we won't have as many. Awesome. Thank you, bud. See you. Yep. Hey, guys. So, uh, this is me just a few days later, and, uh, kind of reflecting on the experience. I feel like, uh, making a meal for my family was a really great way for me to show uh, my appreciation and uh, how grateful I am for them. And uh, with this being senior year for all of us, I feel like it kind of puts into perspective how much time my parents and especially my mom has put in throughout my life of making dinner and meals for my family and how I didn't really understand how much uh, dedication it took and how much time it took behind the scenes. And uh, for the health and uh, money aspect, uh, kind of after running the numbers and uh, seeing how much money we saved just by making this meal, uh, it really does make me uh, appreciate and uh, value uh, home cooking more and uh, definitely something that I'll try and uh, keep going throughout my life. And I don't know, it was just a really cool way to spend uh, Sunday night, uh, hang out in the kitchen for a few hours and then chill out, eat some really good food and watch Sunday night football. So uh, I'm really really appreciative that I had this experience and kind of a grateful that this class uh, forced me to do it in a way. So yeah, really cool and uh, happy I did it. So signing off.